ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, girls and boys, boys and girls, welcome back to our channel, Inspirational Minutes with it. Hit the subscribe button. You know I'm looking for my pointer. I gotta find my pointer because uh, I like to point. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. Um, also hit the like button. It helps our channel to grow. Um, first of all, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, watched the football game yesterday with my team. Uh, it was hard to watch. There was a lot of unfair calls that was called. Um, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard. But, uh, hey, listen. Listen, listen. We're good. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. But, Inspirational Minutes with David, the title of our, of our talk today. Our Inspirational Minutes with David today. I had a few topics to talk about. Um, I had a few things I wanted to get off my, my shoulder. But um, I would name this one. It's Pray for the Universe. We're going to name this title today. Pray for the Universe. Because the universe needs to be prayed for. It has to be prayed for with all the things that we have been going through. And we're about to get ready to go into a new, a new year. And so, you know, you can't, <laughs> you, you can't, you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid of it. It's coming. We're going into a new year. It's coming. But uh, you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid of it. You know, I, I challenge you to step into the new year without fear. Without fear. Pray for the universe. Pray that, um. Uh, this year will be some changes and that this evolution that a lot of people are coming upon on will gravitate and, and it will be a magnet that they, they will, they will bring others together for this universe. It's time to create a happy day and pray for the universe. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. It's a perfect time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a perfect time to look deeper into our darker side. It's natural that we hide this aspect to ourselves as we see it with fear. We see it with fear. Fear of exposure leads to fear of rejection, fear of judgment, and possibly even ridicule. We build this dark side through fears. Fake expectation appearing real, turning it into a bad side of us that we like to break down. However, it would be like trying to unravel, trying to unravel an arm, an arm, trying to unravel an arm or a leg. It's part of us that we need to function in balance. The yin and the yang, the light and the darkness, the polarity of the being, and that being is the human being. You know, infinite consciousness, expressing ourselves as humans. And as much as we strive to achieve perfection, we do not understand, understand, understand that we are, in fact, that very perfection. We're not hiding demons. We're, we are hiding vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities, weaknesses, worries, doubts, and fears. Then those come from my survival instincts. And we hide them in an effort to maintain the status quo. We hide them because we have been taught to hide what might be considered unacceptable. Instead of working to strengthen our weaknesses. What is one of the weaknesses? One of the weaknesses you would like to improve on, fam? Get it out of the depths in the inner shadows. Get it out of the depths of the inner inter shadows. It is habit that you learn to, you know, you learn to lead to a certain lifestyle, a lifestyle choice that you're not really proud of. I've done it before. You have to keep evolving. That's what our channel is about. Inspirational Minutes with David is about evolving. 
Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Is it something that you might be sabotaging your health and wellness? Is, is there a survival mechanism that you develop in a time of chaos or stress that you can see to use, that you can use to manipulate to get what you want? Question mark. Have you been, have you been playing the victim? The victim, the cry victim. When you're more than able to take care of yourself. Or, or, wait, wait, wait. Or, or is it deep desire that you've been hiding in the closet, hoping that no one would find out, find out where it's turning you apart? Only, only, only you know, fam. Only you know. Only you know. And only you can ask to work to accept this aspect of you. Only you can heal and integrate. You can heal and become well. Only you have the power to heal you. Only you can fully understand, understand it, understand it, understand it, and love it in the light. I wish you and I encourage, I wish you and I encourage you to get better. Pray for the universe. I wish you encourage yourself to love yourself completely. First, love yourself. Be fly. You know, I, I was always told, you know, uh, I was the, the black sheep. The black sheep of the family. And let me explain to you. Let me explain, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let me explain to you what the black sheep is. You see, the family's black sheep. I ain't talking about no, the sheeple, the black sheep, the one, the one who go run into it. Who run into the question, the one who questioned their why. The one who's a critical thinker. The one who's, who tries to make himself better, herself better, even when it seems hard. You see, the family's black sheep calls are actually ingenious. Ingenious seekers of liberation paths. Well, ingenious seekers of liberation paths for enlightenment, those members of the tree, the genealogical tree, the genealogical tree, do not adapt to the rules or traditions of the family system. Those who since childhood were constantly seeking to revolutionize the beliefs going against the past marked by the family traditions. Those who criticize, judge, and even rejected those who are generally the call to release the tree of repetitive stories that frustrate entire generations. The black sheep, they call it the black sheep, are the ones that do not adapt, the ones that shout rebellious, the ones that, that play a basic role within every family system, that shout the rebellious, they play a role, basic role to every family system. They repair, detoxify, and create new blooming branch in the genealogical tree. Thanks to those members, our trees renew their roots. Her rebellion is fertile land. Her madness is water that nourish. Its treasure is new air. Her passion is fire that ignites the hearts of the ancestors yet again. Countless suppressed desire, dreams, unfulfilled, frustrated talents of our ancestors manifest in the rebellion of those black sheep seeking to be realized. The geological tree. The geological tree. Yes. By an era. Wants to continue. To maintain. Can't, to maintain. The castrator. And toxic course of his trunk. Which makes the task of the sheep. Uh, uh, the black sheep that is. Not just the sheep. The black sheep. A difficult and conflicting work. However. Who will bring new flowers to our new tree? If or not, out of them, question mark. Who would create the new branches? Without them, the unfulfilled dreams of those who hold the tree generations back would die buried under their own roots. Now, let, huh, listen this, listen this. Let no one make you doubt. Let no one make you doubt. Take care of your own rassiness like the most precious flower of your tree. You are the dream come true of all your ancestors. You are them. You are the dream that come true, that come true for all your ancestors. We're dropping bombs. 
You're dropping bombs today. Dropping bombs today. That may be the only bomb because I need you to, to realize that. I need you to put that in your system. You are the tree. Or you are the dream come true of all your ancestors. You are the tree. And you are also the dream to come true of all your ancestors. Pray for the universe. Pray for the universe. And it starts with you. Close your eyes and ask the universe to take away all that hurts you with the wind. Tell them that you're tired of carrying heavy luggage that won't let you move forward. So we're going into 2022. The luggage has to be dismantled and put away. And you have to make a purge. Make a purge of the, of the luggage that you have. You have to make a purge and put it away. Tell them. That the water, it cleans sorrows. Take away all the pain and cleans your essence. Tell them that with the fire to burn and transfer all the fears that contain within you. And you ask them that with the earth, you return to your home, to your true being, to who you really are and not what made you believe you were. Breaking the negative labels and programming that won't let you grow. Mm. Pray for the universe. Pray for the universe for this upcoming year. Ask forgiveness for sometimes love and conflict more than love. Delivering everything that no longer serves you. Learn the lesson so you don't get repeated and grow like a strong, 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 puissant tree. Full of, full of growth and unconditional love obtained from the four elements. We talked about that. And our last talk together, the four elements, because you are the earth, but pray for the universe. Ask the universe to guide you to awaken in consciousness and wisdom, patience, healing, release, empowerment, forgiveness, and unconditional love. Pray for the universe. 2022 is coming. Ask the universe to recover old memories so that you can heal them and start living today. Fully living today, not only just live, but live fully and ask the universe, ask the universe for strength to engage yourself to main, to your main mission in life, to be happy, to evolve, to grow. Ask the universe for those things. 2022 20, is coming. You see, appearance cheat, but vibration does not lie. Pray. For the universe. You see, when it when a person when a person has a good heart, it shows from afar. Appearances are built, but the essence is always revealed. No one can hide what is and bring it and bring with it what's not. Vibration speaks louder than words. Vibration, you see, one thing about vibration, she reveals the intentions that carry the soul. It's the vibration that sets the tone, the beauty, the well-being. The most beautiful, the most beautiful people are always those who embrace us inside, who make us feel good with their presence, who possess an aura of affection, kindness, and light. Pray for the universe. People don't just create friendships, affection, and relationship by taste, but by the tune of their energy. People might even fall in love with appearance. They fall in love with the outside appearance. But it's the vibration that conquers and makes them stay. It's the vibration conquers and make them stay. Be aware of the vibrations. Be aware of the energies that's around us, around you. And continue. Again, pray for the universe. You see, I really believe the intuition never fails. That vibration always reveals who the people are. That is, you know, the she unites and also separates because one thing is certain. Appearance may be an illusion, but vibration, it never lies. Never, ever lies. And I'm going to leave you. I, I, oh, man. Pray for the universe. 20, 22 is coming. 2020, we survived that. 2021, woo! 
we survived that as well. Let me tell you something. When you pray for the universe, remember this about yourself as well. Remember this. Remember this. Clean my glasses. I'm at the seat. Because I'm talking about sin. I'm talking about praying for the universe. I'm talking about, hey, listen. Listen. I'm talking about, hey, listen. Listen closely. I'm trying to evolve and also bring you along as well. You see, let me tell you something. A mature person does not fall in love. Does not fall in love, but rises, rises in love. A mature person has integrity to be alone. And when he or she gives love, they give it without being tied to any thread or condition. They just simply give it. When a mature person gives love, they are grateful that you accepted it. They don't expect you to appreciate it. They simply thank you for accepting their love. And when two mature people, when two mature people love each other, one of the most beautiful phenomena happens. They are together, but immensely alone. Oh, oh, wow. That, mm, do, do I, wow, uh, that, that, that need to be repeated. They need to be repeated. They need to be repeated. Let, let me repeat that. When a mature, when a mature person, when two mature people love each other, one of the most beautiful, beautiful phenomena occurs. They are together, but immensely alone. Do not destroy your individuality. I repeat, I repeat, do not destroy, do not, I step back, do not, do not, do not, do not destroy, do not destroy your individuality. Can I hold you to that? Can I hold you to that? Helping each other to be freer and happier. They are not involved and mastering. And how can you master the person you love? Domination is a kind of hate, rage, intimacy, hatred, fear that leads to failure. Freedom is a higher value than love. And if love destroys freedom, guess what, people? Guess what, family? It's not love! Without freedom, you'll never be happy. It's freaking impossible. Freaking impossible. Freedom is the intrinsic desire of every man and every one man. That is why one begins to hate everything that destroys his or her freedom. Everything. I need to get a drink on that. Now, the first requirement is to be able to give love is to know that you are love. For when the indicated person arrives, then love emerges from your being in freedom. 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 And thus, the fragrance begins to spread and can be offered to others. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pray for the universe because love is the most powerful force for the human race. So we got away from love. You know, uh, we got away from it. And uh, it's time to go back to love. If you made it this far in our video, in our inspirational minutes with David, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notifications. Pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray for our universe. And here's the deal. Not only do you pray for our, our universe,
Pray for the universe that's within you. Pray for your universe that's within you. And once you pray and learn about the universe within you, then you pray for the universe. Can I hold you to it? I love me. And by loving me completely, in return, I love you. And if you love you, you will love me. My name is David. I am the fly. Optician. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Spread the word. Hit the like button. Help our channel to grow. Continue to evolve with us. Inspirational minutes with David. Happy holidays. Happy holla. H-O-L-L-A. Days. D-A-Z-E. Don't get days and you're hollering. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time, I love you in truth. Peace.